Hi all of you and uh, I'm Vaseem and uh, I'm an artificial intelligence and machine learning engineer and in this demo uh, I'm gonna be showing you how, how you can build a web scrapper in just one video I'll be showing you in just few minutes how we can develop that uh, software uh, because I used to teach uh, AI and ML uh, to my students and uh, also in different programming languages uh, web scrapping and all these things so today in this demo I'll be showing you in front of you how we actually build a software right so let's talk about this uh, web scrapper so what exactly is a web scrapper uh, or you can say a screen scrapping or a web data extraction web harvesting or a web crawler or a bot right so this is generally a process of extracting data from the internet you can analyze the data and extract useful information out of it right so now let's take an example of why exactly we use this software why exactly we use this web scrapper right so the first thing is uh, let's talk about an example let's say uh, I ask you to collect the data or scrap the data from an e-commerce website let's say amazon.com right so if I ask you okay take out all the products uh, let's say mobile phones and I want all the mobile phones which are listed down in this website and I want all the names right so manually if you do that it will take hours right if it's like uh, thousands of mobile phones are there it will take a lot of time now let's say if I ask you okay take out the prices as well of the mobile phones then definitely it will take uh, 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 like days to scrap all the data right so now uh, if I ask you uh, so here our web scrapper comes into picture and we use a web scrapper so that we can use this and scrap out all the data in just few seconds or minutes so now let's talk about an ex another example let's say if you like an article from an internet or a website and you want to uh, save that article right so what you're gonna be doing will be manually just copying and pasting it somewhere in the document now let's say if you have uh, thousands of these articles and you like them all and you're gonna be saving them somewhere right so manually it will take a lot of days for you to save all those thousands of articles right so a web scrapper can be a very good uh, advantages in this place now let's talk about a very good example here suppose in machine learning uh, we use uh, a lot of data to train our model right so to search that data we need the internet and we go through different sources right so we use the web scrapper to fetch out the information to go to different sources of the internet and fetch or uh, fetch the data for our model to get trained on right so these are the uh, examples of where we actually use the web scrapper and there are a lot of uh, areas and places that we where we use this web scrapper these are some of the examples that we use now now in this demo what I'm gonna be showing you I'm gonna be telling you and sh with the code I'll be showing you how we actually build the software and if the person who doesn't know programming language or uh, Python language they don't have to care about that because I'll be going through each and every line of code and uh, I'll, be I'll try my best to clear each and every line so that uh, you'll get to know okay, exactly how uh, how the program is actually working right so now let's start so here uh, what I'm gonna be doing I'll be taking out my sublime text here and for Python you can use any uh, IDE for example like PyCharm or uh, Jupyter right but here I'm gonna be using a sublime text because it's very handy and lightweight and most of all it supports many programming languages and uh, yeah I like it that's why so for small programs if you want to build you can use sublime text now I'll be saving here this file and uh, let's say I'll save here and just call it a name as uh, demo web scrapper dot 
pi. Why I'm giving this extension dot pi is because to let this uh, ed editor or a text editor know that yeah, actually this is a Python file, so that uh, it recognizes all the syntax of a uh, Python program. Okay, so let's start with the uh, importing the library. Let's say I import a library called. First of all, we have to import a library called request. So, what exactly does this request do? So, this library is nothing. Okay. So now, first of all, uh, what I am going to be doing here in this demo, I'll be going through this website. This is called the Amazon website, right? Uh, I hope all of you are familiar with this website. So, I have taken out this all the laptops here, and I'm going to be scrapping out all the names of the products along these prices, right? So this is what uh, I'll be doing in this demo. So now I'll be using here requests library because this request library is actually it's like a kind of an API that uh, goes to and goes to a URL and gets connected and gives us a response whether it got connected to that URL or not. So to get connect to that URL, what I'll be doing here is I'll be creating a, an object R and this object uh, r i'll be initializing this uh, library to this object and then using a get so it can get it can go through to that url and get connects make a connection right and give me a response so what i'll be doing here i'll be taking out i'll be copying here let's say copy this url and paste it here so that it can connect to that uh, particular website now the other thing is that uh, I'll be giving here and and page equals to one so why I'm using this is because if you see here in this website if you go down at the bottom of this website this web page so if you see here there are a lot of pages one two three and all these things right so these are nothing but page numbers so I'm gonna be scrapping out the data from page one right so this is the page one so that's why I have mentioned here as a page one so now the other thing is if I print here print R let's think let's take a look of why what exactly does this R contain so if I run this just control and B for sublime text so if you see here uh, I'm sorry, I'm mistake. So I'll just write here requests. So let's say if I again run this, so now I'll be getting here a response. So it means it got connected to that website. So this is how actually our requests work. Now, if you say I just uh, give a r dot content, so what it will do, it will take out and give me the content of that website. So if you see here, this is nothing but the HTML content of the website. So the guys, if, if you are not familiar with the HTML code, I'll make you understand. If you go to the Chrome and press F12, you'll see this is the code for HTML, how you know, the program is uh, is used to build this website. So this I'm able to fetch the information here. Now let's say I want to give it a R dot text. So what it will bring? It will bring me the same HTML but in a structured way so this is how actually our uh, code is fetching the data so I think uh, I'll uh, continue with the next video of how we actually build complete software so this is just the introduction so uh, you can go through the other video so that uh, we can finish our project in the other video uh, because uh, most of the, uh, the time has been given for the introduction of how and what exactly is a web scrapper so that is why it took some time so hope uh, you guys uh, come to the next video and then uh, we can finish up this project thank you guys